Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about variables in Ruby. So to declare a variable in Ruby there are several ways uh, to define them. So you can create global and local variables and then you can define class variables and instance variables. So to declare a local variable in Ruby you just need to, your variable name just needs to start with an underscore or with a letter. So you don't need any special keywords. So you can just do x equals 10 and you can do y equals hello world. So these are two variables where one stores a number and another stores a string. And then we can have something like t equals true and f equals false. So these are two Boolean values in um, Ruby. So then we can uh, print x and we get 10. And then we can uh, print uh, if t equals f. We need an end statement. And we get nil. So if t equals f, we can return yay. And we get nothing because they're not equal. True and false are not equal. So if we check if true doesn't equal false, we get yay. So this is how you do a comparison operator between two variables. Uh, so these are all local variables. Uh, to declare a global variable in Ruby, you pr uh, proceed it with a, a dollar sign. So g equals global variable. And then, so you can access g from within any function. And um, there it is, global. Uh, so to concatenate two variables, you can't actually, it, uh, Ruby won't do any typecasting, so you can't add x plus y, or you'll get an error. So if you try and run it, nothing will happen because you get an error. You actually need to uh, convert the number to a string to add them. And now you get 10 hello world. Uh, and there's another value in uh, Ruby that's built in, and that's the nil. So nil represents, nil is similar to undefined in JavaScript, where it exists but it has no value. Uh, so if you, you get nil if you try and print it. So if you get uh, if, if z equals uh, um, f, so we're checking, we're checking if nil equals false, which is not true, which we should get yay, and we don't because they're not equal. And if we check if they're not equal, we get yay. So nil is not actually false. It's an undefined variable. 